Hi, and welcome to this video. Jira and Confluence. You probably heard a lot about those two applications, but perhaps you never had a chance to have your own instance that you can fully control, explore, and use to its fullest capabilities. In this video, I will show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to get completely free access to these two most prominent Atlassian products. After you complete watching and follow the instructions provided in the video, you will have full access to both of these applications and their complete set of features. Enjoy the video. These days, there are many free plans or free licenses or free accounts for almost any software in the world. Naturally, anything that is free comes with some limitations or constraints. That could be a limited time of usage or limited functionality, for example. It is rare that software with worldwide recognition is offered in a free package with no time limits and no compromised functionality. And this is exactly what Atlassian is offering in its free Jira and Confluence package. You can get access to both of these applications with full functionality and no time constraints absolutely free. Interested in learning how to get this offer? This video will teach you everything you need to know to accomplish that. You will start from the URL that you see on your screen. Enter it in your browser and you will end up on this page. Now let's confirm for a moment what is the deal you're getting from Atlassian. The free plan you are subscribing to allows you to have up to 10 users, two gigabytes of storage, which will be used mostly by files you, are, you will be uploading. Very important note, no need for a credit card. So you don't have to worry if some changes will unexpectedly appear in a couple of weeks. And last but not least, you are getting access to two products. Jira is already selected and you have a choice between Confluence and Jira Service Management for the second product. I would choose Confluence, but if you rather explore or use Jira Service Management, you can absolutely go for it. Click Next and you're asked to select how you would like to sign in. Again, you have two options to choose from. Use your Google account authentication or proceed with an email password combination. If you opt for the latter, you will be asked to provide an email address, create a password, and provide your first and last name. That would become one more set of credentials to remember, so I will opt for a Google account and select that option. If you decide to follow the same path which I recommend, you would also be asked to log into Google, and I will do that now. If I did it right, I would arrive on the screen where my full name is confirmed and I'm asked to consent to receive newsletter from Atlassian. You can opt out, but I recommend checking the box and opting in because the content being sent is usually good quality and immensely useful. I will check the box to provide consent and I will click on the create account button. The provisioning of your Atlassian account starts at this point and it can take a bit of time to complete, but it should be finished within 30 seconds. Once it completes, I will provide my site's name, which eventually becomes a subdomain of Atlassian.com that I will use as my site address. You can use almost anything with only one constraint. It cannot be already used by someone else. If that is the case, you will be warned and asked to use a different name. In general, you want to use something familiar to you, or if you will be using this Jira instance for business purposes, something that resembles your company name. When done, click on continue and provisioning of your Jira and Confluence instances will start. That process can take a couple of minutes and I will stop the recording and continue when it completes. Now your products are almost ready and you are offered to invite your team members to join as well. Remember that the free package allows you to have up to 10 users, so don't worry about extra charges if you consider sending the invites. Besides inviting specific people, you can also decide to allow anyone having an email address with the same domain as yours to join. That option should be turned off to avoid surprise charges. You can always send these invites later, so I will skip this offer for now. The last step is to answer a couple of profiling questions that will help Jira to do the initial setup to better suit your team's needs 
and level of familiarity with Jira and Agile. After hitting Next, based on your responses, you will be offered a template to use when creating your first Jira project, but you can also select a different one. I will go ahead with the Scrum template. On the next screen, I'm asked for the project name, and once I key it in, I can click on the Create button, and in no time, this project is created. You might get many pop-ups with information about various tutorials. The content of these pop-ups can vary based on your responses to profiling questions. You can browse and see what is being offered, or you can just ignore them. Regardless, at this point, provisioning of Jira and Confluence is completed, and you can start using them. Using the application menu in the top left corner, you can easily switch between Jira, Confluence, and your site administration, where you can manage users and your Atlassian subscriptions and billing. And that is all. You can navigate back to Jira or Confluence and start using them to create great things.